Hi, I'm Ann Butera. Thanks so much for joining me in my studio today. I am not quite in a habit of filming here for YouTube, but I wanted to stick with it in part because my goal, one of my goals is to encourage and inspire you. And as a self-taught artist, I think it's so important to me to encourage other people who have creative dreams to go for those dreams. And that is why I teach. <laughs> that is why I love sending out my joy letters. That is why I love writing my blog, because I think we all need a bit of extra encouragement sometimes. I've been thinking a lot about ups and downs, ups and downs in our lives, ups and downs in our creativity, ups and downs in our mood. I was talking to a customer today. I have a sweet customer who always calls in her order for calendars. And she, I talk to her on the phone once a year. And she was asking me how I was doing. And of course, when anyone ever asks me that I always want to say good or fine or something positive. But then I was also thinking in the back of my head about how I've been feeling a little bit down, especially with this shift in season. And then I was also thinking about how it's been a good year, even though in some ways my business hasn't done as well this year as other years so much good has happened and always that's part of life there's good and there's bad there's ups and downs sometimes there's good and bad at the same time and it's up to us to focus on the good things in our lives and i know that can be so hard especially when there's so much negativity, there's so much ugliness in the news, there's so many bad things happening all the time. And I think that will always be the case. And we can either let it pull us down, or we can find ways to boost ourselves and to boost one another. And again, that's another reason that I make these videos, I want to help you to boost yourself to see the joy, to focus on the positive. After the opening reception of my show at Viva Gallery, Matias and I took a much needed vacation. We brought the girls and met up with my father-in-law and his Greyhound and stayed with friends on Beaver Island in Lake Michigan. It was cold, but it was also so nice to get away and to spend some time in nature. I brought art supplies with me, but I didn't end up working with them at all. Instead, I spent a lot of time curled up with some books and enjoyed some quiet days. I think it's so important that if we don't create for whatever reason, we be gentle with ourselves, give ourselves grace, and know that our creativity will be there for us when we're ready. It's so easy to put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be doing and making and keeping busy when sometimes what we really need is rest. When we got back, I was surprised to see my garden still going strong. I took some photos for my blog post, but somehow I didn't take any video of the last days of flowers and harvests in my garden though I did notice and try to capture a late visit from a hummingbird. I was so glad there were still so many blooming flowers for her, and I hope she made it to wherever she was going for her winter vacation. And winter suddenly seems to be the correct word right now. It certainly feels as if it's arrived. On Halloween, we had our first snow. Days with lows in the 20s had already finished off the last of my flowers. The forecast shows some warmer days coming up, and I'm glad. Not only because I'm not mentally ready for winter, but also because I still have a few projects I need to get to in the garden. I don't do a lot of fall cleanup, 
but I do need to plant my garlic and a few spring bulbs. And I also need to dig my dahlia tubers to store for winter. With this first snow, I felt a tinge of panic. Winter can be so hard for me and I struggle with seasonal depression. But sitting in my studio, looking out at my sleeping garden, I realized how different it will be experiencing winter from my new studio space. Since the sliding doors were put in, I've been spending a lot of time looking out at my garden whenever I'm in my studio. And after it started to get cold, I began to see so many more birds enjoying the seeds on my plants and visiting my bird feeder too. Quinn and I could sit and watch the birds all day. I'm so grateful for this space. And I need to make sure that I never let myself get too busy to spend some time each day connecting with nature like this. Another pleasure that seems so much sweeter during the winter is caring for my houseplants. I've been adding more plants to my new studio space as I settle in and finish making the room my own. During the summer on two different outings, I found little citrus plants on garden center clearance racks. This little lime and lemon spent the summer outside and now they're in my studio. Although they're still adjusting to their move, they are both filled with flower buds and I can't wait for them to add their scent to my room. I'm almost never alone in my studio. Quinn, Clara, and Fiona have all claimed this as one of their favorite places in the house. What a joy to have them keeping me company while I work. Last week, I was finally able to sit down and work on a painting. For months, I've been so busy with other projects, moving my studio, filming and editing my color class, and then preparing for my gallery show. It's been a long time since I've sat down and painted like this. When we got back from vacation, I cut a bunch of dahlias from my garden and got to work. Mixing colors for the new painting was a delight. It's always one of my favorite parts of the process. Starting the painting felt so good too, but then it got hard. It wasn't that I was making mistakes or having trouble with the painting, but I needed to let the painting process unfold. And I guess I was impatient. During the middle parts of my botanical watercolor process, the painting never looks right. And that's just the way it is. It requires patience, but I kept wanting to give up. Negative thoughts kept popping into my head, but I forced myself to keep going. And eventually I got more comfortable with the messy middle and I fell in love with this painting. I am so glad I didn't give up and I'm grateful I had one last chance to paint from my garden. I am feeling a bit bummed that I don't have more garden inspiration waiting for me to cut it and bring it into my studio. I want to paint more flowers and I will using photos as reference. I do have a lot of flower photos. It's not my favorite way to work but it'll do. My 2024 calendars are finally in my shop and I've been busy wrapping up orders for my customers. So many customers return year after year and I am very grateful. This is my 11th year making calendars with my art, which is a little hard for me to believe. It's truly one of my most joyful projects. Choosing just the right painting for each month to represent the beauties of every season is such fun. And it brings me so much joy to share this project each year too. Joy surrounds us all the time and it's up to us to see it. I made some joyful discoveries at our local used bookstore, which was really fun. And I'm so happy that my sourdough starter seems to actually be taking off. I'd almost given up on it. And again, I'm glad I didn't. Again, thank you for joining me here. I hope that you are finding lots of little glimmers of joy to focus on and that you are being creative in whatever way brings you and others joy. 
I will see you next time.